A long time ago in a galaxy we currently reside in, a man called George Lucas wrote a space opera that would become a cultural phenomenon spawning several movies, TV shows, the worst toy franchising licensing deal from Fox in history, and of course, video games. I grew up on Star Wars video games, from the FMV Rebel Assault to the phenomenal Rogue Squadron games starting on the Nintendo 64. Now while these consoles have come and gone, there's a surprisingly wide range of Star Wars games on the Nintendo Switch. And in the spirit of May the 4th, I thought I would make a list of the 10 best Star Wars games on the system. So close the blast doors, be mindful of the present, and may the force be with you as we take a look at the best Star Wars games on Nintendo Switch. But hey, before we begin, would you mind paying attention to this Jedi mind trick? This is the channel you're looking for. You should like and subscribe. It's the best way for smaller outlets like mine to be found. Thank you for doing so. Star Wars Fortnite Collaboration. Let's kick it off with the most recent Star Wars collaboration that just dropped in Fortnite. No, 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 don't click away. Trust me on this. The new collaboration may have a mainly cosmetic impact on the Battle Royale, Rocket Racing and Festival, but there are huge changes to LEGO Fortnite. Adding Star Wars outposts where you can complete tasks and unlock new villages and items on your adventure. Also for the next 80 days, there's a specific Star Wars LEGO pass that allows you to unlock some classic Star Wars architecture to create your own wretched hive of scum and villainy. Epic has announced that this content will stay beyond the battle pass, so you don't have to worry about losing your progress. Aside from the LEGO changes, Fortnite Battle Royale is adding lightsabers and blasters, classic Star Wars skins and accessories, the festival is adding Star Wars themed instruments and the iconic Cantina Band song, Rocket League is also adding Star Wars themed cars based on iconic characters, making Fortnite the place to be this May the 4th. The Force Unleashed, an epic tale of Darth Vader's secret apprentice fighting both good and evil to do his bidding. The Switch version of The Force Unleashed ranks lower in my opinion than the other console versions as the Switch version is a port of the Wii edition of the game. It's still a great time with the over the top set pieces and impressive battles as you level up your abilities and powers, but it just doesn't have a lot of the details or features of its bigger brother. Those who don't mind that will be in for a great story that fills in the gaps between episodes 3 and 4 and unravels with a really cool surprise at the end that I won't ruin here. You can also take part in Jedi duels outside of the main campaign and utilize the Switch's motion controls for that added immersion. Star Wars Pinball A fairly robust selection of pinball tables covering both movies and TV shows of the Star Wars universe. Pinball aficionados will have plenty to do while exploring the likes of Solo, Boba Fett and even the Mandalorian tables, shooting their way to victory. Star Wars Pinball runs on the incredible Zen Pinball engine, offering both fluid gameplay and exceptional physics. Players can also pick the light or the dark side and upload their scores online to tilt the balance of the force, adding a kind of community element to the game. If you're a fan of Pinball and Star Wars, then this is an essential purchase for you. Republic Commando. Not the first foray into first person shooters in the Star Wars universe, but an incredible one nonetheless. Republic Commando puts you in the boots of a special forces clone trooper as you shoot your way through a campaign focused on the events of the Clone Wars and beyond. While it may not be that big a deal these days, Republic Commando's unique feature is that you could command your squad to assist in battle by ordering explosives or setting up your sniper and even asking for your team to revive you should you fall in battle. The first person combat is often visceral, spraying debris on your visor should you be in the splash zone of an enemy or getting a bit messy with some up close and personal melee combat. Despite Republic Commando having a relatively short campaign, it's still a wild ride from start to finish. Episode 1 Racer Say what you will about the old, 
new trilogy, I'm so confused right now, but there were some incredible moments throughout the story of Anakin's transition into Darth Vader. One such scene was the pod racing in Episode 1, and Episode 1 racer manages to capture the breakneck speed and excitement of pod racing in this fantastic game. Originally debuting on Nintendo 64 and PS1, the game may not be the best looking with a low poly count, but it still manages to impress with its tight gameplay. Racers will be able to unlock new pods, see the galaxy, and even upgrade their favourite pod racer to dominate the competition. What I really loved about this game was the faithful recreation of the course in the movie, as well as fleshing out the entire pod racing league into an impressive campaign that's fast, furious and fun. Racers can risk boosting engines and repairing on the fly at the expensive speed should they overheat, causing some tense risk and reward moments. I highly recommend this one. Battlefront Classic Collection Probably the most popular Star Wars games because they absolutely dominated the Xbox and PlayStation 2 era. Recently, the Switch was graced with the Battlefront Classic Collection, a touched up package consisting of both Battlefront games. While it did have some teething issues with the online modes, there's a whole lot of game packed into this package, allowing you to participate in large scale infantry battles, utilize vehicles to turn the tides, as well as space battles to destroy the enemy fleet before they get to yours. To make it even better, there's several single player campaigns that you can fight through that follow the stories of episode 1 through to 6. Aspire is still patching and supporting this game, so while online still needs a little bit of work, if you don't have an issue fighting against bots, you're in for a great time. Dark Forces Remaster the first foray into first person shooters in the Star Wars universe and one of the best shooters around. Night Dive Studios did an incredible job not only remastering the game, but allowing players to switch between remaster and the original, as well as preserving a lot of art files and behind the scenes extras. If that wasn't enough, they even included the E3 concept demo, making this package a textbook example of why game preservation is so important and how to execute it well. Dark Forces follows Kyle Katarn, a mercenary who is on a mission to uncover and stop the Imperial Dark Trooper program, which you might remember from the Mandalorian TV series. It features excellent gunplay and puzzles, well thought out level design and iconic Star Wars characters and locales. I absolutely adore this game and for those on the fence about it, it's got a great price point and a whole lot of extras that give you extra bang for your buck. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga A hilariously fun co-op or solo take on the Star Wars universe. The Skywalker Saga incorporates the trilogy of trilogies with all new features and gameplay elements wrapped up in a smart and well presented package. The offbeat humour will make you laugh out loud as you smash your way through levels, collecting studs and unlocking characters. Fans of Star Wars with some loose change after visiting Toshley Station can also purchase several DLC packs to add even more Star Wars goodness to the game, playing as characters from The Bad Batch and The Mandalorian just to name a few. There are a lot of puzzles but nothing too taxing, and the more relaxing playstyle makes it a great game to play with your young ones. I did notice some minor performance issues in co-op play, but it's still a fantastic romp and an absolutely essential purchase for Star Wars fans. Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy Okay, okay, I know it's cheating to put these two games together, but they are two peas in the pod racer. Kyle Katarn is back, and despite the Switch missing Dark Forces 2, which sees Kyle start to walk down the path of the Jedi, both Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy bring some amazing Star Wars action to the Switch. Jedi Outcast has a solid mix of shooter and lightsaber action, while Jedi Academy puts you in the boots of Kyle's apprentice, learning the ways of the Force and ultimately deciding where your allegiances lie. The whole Kyle Katarn saga could easily be made up to an entirely new and engaging TV series or movie in itself and that story plays out really well across these two games. Both games regularly go on sale and have received critical acclaim, 
I can't recommend these two enough. If you like shooters and you like lightsabers, it's an essential purchase. Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. Coming in at number 1 is Knights of the Old Republic The Double Bundle. Bioware's early RPGs were magical and allowed players to choose a class and embark on an epic adventure across two games. While Knights of the Old Republic Double Bundle on Switch may have caused some controversy, with cancelled DLC being pulled well after the release of the game and being a main selling point, it caused Aspire to hand out free games as compensation. But there's still no denying that both of these games are a masterclass in storytelling, world building. While Knights of the Old Republic 2 may seem tempting for new players to just jump straight into, I highly recommend starting with the first game to really get the best bang for your buck out of the series. Star Wars fans need to look no further than Knights of the Old Republic Double Bundle for the ultimate Star Wars experience on the Nintendo Switch. And there you have it. How did my rankings go up against your personal preferences? Let me know in the comments below. But also, let me know what Star Wars games you would love to see come over to the Switch. My personal choice would be the Jedi Survivor series, and I know the chances of it actually making it across are slim to none, but a wise man once said, never tell me the odds, kid. Thanks for watching, and may the fourth be with you. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. The best way you can support me is to like and subscribe and continue watching my content if you enjoy it. But if you do want to go that bit extra, you can buy me a coffee or join our Patreon, which shows you behind the scenes of this channel. Thanks again.